so here it is guys the trigger kit for the Vesk wand I've just installed it and it looks a bit like a gun but well how does it feel that's what we want to know so let me show you how to install this kit and then we'll get out on the board go for a ride I'll give you my first thoughts of this this trigger kit it's too light the carbon fiber is too light it almost feels like you're not holding anything you're not touching anything and also the throw on it is huge and there's a huge dead band that you notice with this huge throw that I didn't notice at all with the thumb control this essentially extends the throw the remote so much that half of the of the input is dead it doesn't do anything we can change that in the uh, dead band setting and also we can uh, put in some decreased ramping time for both throttle and braking i believe from tramper those uh, values are pretty conservative anyway things like 15 percent dead band and uh, i can't remember what the ramping times are but they're pretty conservative so we can change that wow that hurts First time out riding with a gimbal, man. I've got the crane too and it's huge. So, it's heavy, really heavy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On this trigger, I mean, look at that! Great, great, great! Oh, my finger fully forward. It, so I'll just stop now and just let, let them pass. Very cool though. That's all right. <laughs> they do. <laughs> See you later. Got to stop for the horses, guys. They do not like it. It looks like you're floating and they, they hate it. So 
always stop for horses guys in the countryside um, which is where we are So yeah guys, I cut my ride short actually, I didn't do that far at all because actually I didn't feel fully in control with this trigger kit. Too much throw mainly from there to there, I mean look at that, it's huge amount of throw. Uh, and it's just dead light and, and woolly, it just doesn't feel right. So I'm going to 3D print some bits for the trigger just to make it a bit chunkier, I'm going to try anyway. And I'm also going to update to the latest VESC firmware and change the ramping time and the dead band, see if we can improve this somewhat. I mean, basically, it'd be good if we only used half of the throw. So if we can achieve that, that'd be good. And uh, we'll come back and test it, but I can't test it on the next firmware because there's a bug in it, which stops reverse working on this remote, and I quite like having that. So I'll wait until next week when there's a new firmware, but for now, um, I'm gonna work on this, and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know, but in the meantime, if I go for a ride, I'm just gonna be using the, the thumb. <laughs> 